Look at your hands. So Do you want the light squad to check you, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. Let them do what they gotta do. Come on, boys. Man, what? What's good, y'all niggas? We back. And today, bro, we got we got like a little. We got a little cool video, a little cool video when suspects try seducing police officers. So basically, well, it's most likely females. So when females get arrested, they be trying to, you know, look all sexy and shit for the police and shit. Well, it ain't working today, baby. It ain't working today, baby. You ass getting arrested. Yeah, hey, if we see any fine dyes in here, y'all drop below, man. Let's see what we got, man. Let's see what we Criminals got, often yeah, use many stop. violent and dangerous methods to try and escape police custody. But what happens when suspects oh, try to she bad as fuck. Oh. seduce and flirt with cops to avoid a jail sentence? It's always the white girl, bro. Check me. I don't care. I like men. Come on, just search me. Here are seven examples of when suspects try to seduce cops. Start. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to view this roster. This roster is looking kind of crazy. And flirt with cops to avoid a jail sentence. I'm good, bro. Check me. I don't care. I like men. Come on, just search me. Here are seven examples. All right. What the fuck were you think you were trying to do? You ain't seducing nothing. We just going to put that out there. You ain't seducing nothing. You ain't seducing nothing. You. You can get a little pass, Amelia. You can get a little pass. You ain't seducing nothing. Well, actually, nah. She look like she got some fire head. Nah. She probably... But this right here... This right here, though. This right here, what she do? What she do, though? What she do? How she get... How... You you driving drunk or something? DUI? You 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 look too good to be on this motherfucker. So when suspects try to oh seduce no. cops, starting with arguably the most shocking, a 19-year-old girl was seen weaving between lanes and throwing unknown items out of the window. I Officers knew it. immediately. I knew it. She it's 10, 23 right now. Really? Oh. Did you have anything to drink? What? No, I'm 19. I cannot drink. I, I, what? Just, All right, we back. We back. We back. We back. We back. 10, 23 right now. Really? Oh. Did you have anything to drink? What? No, I'm 19. You're 19. I cannot drink. I, I just shook up nothing. Nothing? No. Are you sure? Don't get on my eyelashes, bro. She okay, fine. Oh, she all right, look, she drunk. All right, we gotta admit, she is drunk. She's talking about don't look at my eye. My the, the light will hurt your eyelashes. Like nigga, oh, that, she didn't say that, but she said don't get on my eyebrows or eyelashes, bro. She's drunk as fuck. If you get pulled over twelve, you, if twelve pull you over, that's not the first thing you saying, bro. You you's not saying you trying to speak to this nigga like he your homeboy or some shit. She's drunk. Pack her ass up. Are your eyelashes? No, but they falling off. From the light. Despite the girl's claims, the officers are fairly sure she's had at least something to drink last night, especially when she seems to forget the time completely. So they ask her to step out of the vehicle and perform a few sobriety tests. Well, hold on. This is. We're gonna start. I'm cold. We're gonna start right here. All right. Do you wear any? Do you wear any glasses or contacts? I do. You do? Are you wearing contacts right now? No. No. I'm okay. Cold. You're gonna, I, I just mean, walk in the straight line and I'll be good. Well, that's that's not even. I haven't even told you yet that I'm doing it. So you gotta. I'm cold. Okay. <laughs> I mean, just give me ten minutes of your time. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Walk in the straight line. What do you want to do? Cop from. Hold on. I didn't tell you that. Man, she shot, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, dude. I ain't even gonna lie to you. She she know better, bro. She know better, bro. She know better. She knows better, bro. Why? If she had a boyfriend, why her boyfriend didn't take her kid and they went to go pick her up if she was this drunk, bro? She knows better, my nigga. She just fucked up. That's all it is, man. We all... I know, but I don't know where the police is. Despite her enthusiasm to begin the tests, she doesn't exactly pass them with yeah. flying colors. And after losing her balance on the final test, she's placed under arrest by the officers. Damn. But that's not where the story ends for her. On the way back to the patrol vehicle, she mentions that there are, in fact, weapons in her car. And oh, her behavior starts to change drastically. Y'all can check me. I don't that's care right. if y'all are male, bro. We got, we, got, we got plenty of... Uh, Welcome to today's side quest. Oh, no, I know where this shit going. I know where this is going. I know where this is going. I know where this is going. Female officers around I'm outside. good, bro. Check me. I don't care. So I'm giving know. authorization to you. I'm not going to search you. Why not? I give you authorization to. Oh, I'm not going to do that. So. Well, I like 
like men, come on, just search me. What's up? <laughs> While the cops maintained that they couldn't search her, they did take the time to search- Man, he caught some pussy. Man, he caught some pussy. If I'm a cop, bro, I'm searching that shit. She just said green light, you can search me, baby. She said green light, you can search me, baby. I'm searching all that, you feel me? I'm searching all that. Let me search you up, you feel me? Let me search you up. And then I'm going to have to take you to jail. But at the same time, we built a little connection. So now when you get out of jail, we, we good. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying, bro? He caught some L cops, bro, on God. Search your vehicle. Inside, they found multiple guns, a large stack of cash, though it was decided this was likely just tips from the bar. Yeah. However, she was still charged with DUI and sentenced to nine months probation, May, I... despite also being underage. It was fairly difficult for the that cops to judge if this girl that was drunk or not. Done. However, this next girl didn't show the same amount of clown. Okay, she was rubbing her shit. She was just like, you can search me, baby. Man, I don't search and all that. I don't search and all that. Instead, resorting to manipulate and trick the cop into letting her go. Hello, how you doing? Officer Hot in New Mexico State Police, using for the stop. You're going 55 Whoa. back there on, M on uh, MLK. Five? Yeah, 55. I was right behind you the whole time and you just honestly booked it. I've had a I had a bad night. The girls that I thought that were my friends are not my friends. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Where are you coming from? Because they let your ass get in the car and drive your ass home while you was drunk. That's what happened. That's why she feeling all emotional. I bet it's because she's drunk. I promise you. She, I bet it's because she's drunk. Knockout. Knockout. This girl doesn't seem to be having the best night. But that still doesn't explain why she was driving 25 miles an hour over the speed limit on a residential road. She also mentions that she came from a place called Knockouts, a gentleman's club that could explain the sparkly outfit and why she was driving so erratically. Okay, you have your license? Like, you were gonna tell me you're my friend and then do some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> His name registration. Uh, I have. Do you have a jacket or something that you could put on? Do you have a jacket or anything? A jacket? Yeah, like in the car. No, why? Because I'm gonna have, ask you to step out that way we could talk out here. I don't have anything. The girl seems to be upset about a disagreement with her friends back at the bar, but this officer isn't buying it. There's many examples of suspects pretending to be sad or distressed during a traffic stop to try and get simple. You know what's crazy? She looked better than she did with her little mugshot shit. She looked better right here, though. She do look better right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. She do look a little better right here. Flee from the cops and walk away with a lighter sentence. This can work in some circumstances, but it doesn't excuse driving at almost twice the speed limit. But this doesn't stop the girl from trying Hold after up. she steps out of the car. Okay. Right. With my registration, I can get my progressive um it just sucks like yeah a bitch here, me... tells me that she's my friend and she's not okay all right let's she go back over no here friend, i'm moving you come next from a weekend strip club. You came from a strip club. Anybody me at the strip club is not your friend. All y'all niggas down there is from the fucking gutter. Y'all try to get the dollar bills as much as y'all can, bro. Nobody's your friend, bro. Nobody. Nobody. That's like me, bro. That's like me doing fucking YouTube, bro. Ain't nobody in the community my fucking friend. We all trying to, man. Come on, man, bro. You gotta, you gotta be smarter than that. You gotta be smarter than that. And my friend said that she's my friend, but she's not. Yeah. They Do you don't send care up about that. Yeah. All right. So how much alcohol have you consumed? No, I haven't. Nothing. I smoke weed. I have my my medical um, card if you want to see it. Mm -hmm. I have that. But I mean, I've been smoking because I'm mad. Yeah, you're mad. You know what I mean? Like, okay. All the friends. Hey, let, let, just just try to. Calm down a little bit. So you're gonna you say that you haven't consumed no alcohol. Just be honest with me. How much alcohol? We're gonna have knockouts. Honestly, the way I feel is that the girl she went behind my back and shit. You know what I mean? No matter how hard the cop why is you still talking about tries this girl? to keep the girl on topic, she keeps breaking down and talking about her friendship issues. After some more pressing by the officer, she admits what to smoking marijuana and alcohol back at the club. But she keeps trying to excuse it by saying she's having a rough night, and that's her way of dealing with it. Unfortunately for her, though, the officer needs her to focus, which she seems to be having a tough she time doing good. throughout the sobriety really tests. Good. All right, just wait right here. I'm going to move my unit back just a, just a little bit, and uh, I got two more tests to administer. You feel okay walking in those shoes? I mean, I'm just fucking upset. That's it. You're just upset? I'm just fucking upset. So, Miss... She about to bang up her friend.
She about to bring up her friend. She not even mad at the fact she getting arrested. She not mad about none of that shit. She's going to keep breaking up the friend. I'm telling you. She, 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 she. I don't know what we you smoking. You smoking that crap. Ramos, my, my main concern is just that you're... Hey guys, I'm Don Gaming. Fucking Are you your ready for a fantastic game and it's anniversary to see you Check out status of... Safe to drive, okay? Obviously, you were no, I truly get it. traveling at a high rate of speed up. I have okay. three kids. Okay. My baby daddy just died. I'm sorry to hear my that. My best friend just said that it's just a lot. One, two, one, two. Unfortunately for the girl, though, complaining to the officer didn't seem to sober her up at all, and she failed all three of her sobriety tests. So all that was left was for her to be arrested, a fitting end for what appeared to be a pretty rough night for her. All right, so at this point, you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, driving while influence some intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Just face me real quick. What's in your mouth? Nothing. Open it. Lift up your tongue. All right. So on my watch, 0213, okay? But Kelly Barton made it a little easier for the cops. Not only was she seen crashing into a lamp. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't like that second girl, cause we ain't seen no seducer in there. We just saw her drunk as fuck, kept bringing up her friend. We didn't see, we saw seducing with the first one. She was, she was, she was giving the signs. She was playing with the cat in front of the, she was trying to get the signs out. But this girl right here, nah, nah. Post while transporting nah. a special needs patient, but when police arrived, she was looking a little worse for wear. Kelly? Yes? How are you doing? Good. Kelly admits that she had too much to drink that evening, but doesn't admit to driving, despite it being her job. Unfortunately for her though, security camera footage from the gas station proves that she was in fact behind the wheel, and is now facing charges of both DUI and neglect due to the responsibility she Mama carried while driving with the patient. But as an ambulance pulls up to perform some tests on her, well, Kelly Mama reveals that she has another trick up her sleeve, and begins repeatedly flirting with all of the officers at the oh. scene. Look at your hands. So you want the light squad to check you, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. Let them do what they gotta do. Come on, boys. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> I want the little young boys. Oh. Let the little young boys oh, tell me. Boy. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. What I would do to you with your blue eyes. So let me check your blood sugar okay. real quick. Look at him. I would do him in a way that he won't eat me. <laughs> they smiling because they don't get no pussy, man. Who mom is this, bro? Who mom is this, bro? She got these niggas blushing with help, bro. How you How you got a mama out here? You got mama dudes out here making y'all niggas blush. Man, y'all crazy look, as hell. He can look tough all he want. Mr. Clean built ass nigga. Smiling, cheesing. After multiple tests, it's clear to the officers that Kelly was Man, well who over taking the that legal down? limit and is arrested for driving while intoxicated. And bro, come on, man. Who taking this down on the team, bro? You taking it down, Mr. Clean ass nigga? Who's taking this down, bro? Real talk. She got Struggling niggas out here into the police vehicle, shit. she's sent on her way to the police station. But if you think Kelly was bold for talking to cops like that, 18-year-old Skylar Fluss is on a completely different level, going so far as to post this video to thousands of people bragging about how she, she got like away the with the DUI. She look like the one. I got out of a DUI and got let off with a. Ah, right, yo, we back, we back, we back. Wet, she managed to trick the officer and get away with a warning. I blew a 3.8, and he let me off with a. Warning and gave me his number and said we should meet for call. Babe, no one wants your ad, boy. You a drunk, you a whole alcoholic. You got arrested. Who wants you? Off your lunch. Thank he you. was hot, so I'm getting lunch with him tomorrow. If her story is true, then the officer would be in serious trouble. But luckily, the officer in question recorded the entire interaction on his body cam, and the video tells a completely different story. Oh, she lied. Oh. My name's Deputy Stall. I'm in the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. I pulled you over because you were weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Okay. So I was like crying and like I'm really upset. Okay. Were you, were you on your phone and stuff too? I was trying to call him to get a Why do every girl cry? I, I mean, is it really that scary for you? I mean, bro. Y'all be crying too damn much. Like, hey, just go to jail. You come at home at less than 24. Just go to jail, bro. What is you crying for? Like, bro, you coming home in less than 24, bro. Real shit. 
you going to see your kid, you going to see your baby daddy, your broke ass baby daddy, you going to come to home with all that in less than 24 hours. Stop crying, bro. I think it's my heart. It's okay. So well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol, but if you're on your phone, have you been drinking or anything tonight? No? Okay. The deputy then does give Skylar a card with the sheriff department's information on it, but it didn't include his personal number I and it didn't come ass. with an invitation to dinner. <laughs> I figure you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? So, I'm just going to give you a warning. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure you're okay. You were weaving a little bit, and I just want to make sure you're okay to operate the motor vehicle, and I believe you are. Um, so, my information's right here on the front. The reason I stopped you here is on the back. Wherever you're headed, uh, get there safely, and I'm sorry you're having a bad night. Yeah, I'm just right down the street. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. It could be a good cop, but at the same time, this nigga is showing a little sympathy on the gas. He is showing a little too much sympathy. She do look kind of mid-ish, but I, I feel him, but at the same time, I don't feel him. Because if it was my black ass in that car, he pulling out the AK-47, you get to spray in my ass. So I'm not really on his side completely, but you feel me? Okay. No, you're, you're fine. Yeah, well, no, you don't need to apologize. I mean, you were weaving a little bit with no traffic out. I just want to make sure you're okay, that's all. Skylar's video doesn't just contain disgusting footage of her laughing and bragging about exploiting this officer's kindness, but also states that she blew a 3.8 on the breathalyzer, ignoring that she wasn't even tested in the first place. The legal limit is only around 0.8, and already makes driving dangerous. But a reading of 3.8 would imply Skylar was not only blackout drunk, but close to death, as at a level of 4.0, respiratory failure is likely. But this doesn't mean Skylar was lying about being drunk underage. Videos were later discovered of her chugging tequila from the bottle and acting drunk at a party just hours before she was caught driving. After she was confronted with this, Skylar confessed and admitted to everything. I ended up getting a little too intoxicated. Um, I was taking shots all night and I decided to make the dumb decision to get into my car and drive. She also admitted that the officer never asked her out. That was just a lie for social media attention. We Regardless knew it was. of her confession though, no further action was taken against her or the officer who failed to test her. I ain't gonna lie to you. Pray for Shorty. Y'all pray for her, bro. Y'all pray for her. How you almost kill yourself off getting drunk? Damn. How you almost kill yourself? Almost, bro, you drinking too damn much. I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. Y'all better pray for her ass. But I think that's what we're gonna leave it off, man. We just did three of them. The video's 33 minutes long. I already cut this video up and shit. Like, you feel me? But anyways, man. Y'all like the video? Y'all subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment. Leave a like. Turn on post notifications if you really like me. And you will win a $500 giveaway. Drench the dots out this bitch, man. Long live D.